and cult movies now available on video cassette is the subject of this special edition of Siskel and Ebert in the Movies. I'm Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune. And I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. First there were cult movies that people went to the theaters to see, and now there are cult movies that people stay home to see on video cassette. And to get an idea of the cult videos that are the most popular around the country, we did an ambitious but probably fairly unscientific survey of five of the big video chains. And on the special program, we're going to review some of the movies that they claim are reaching cult status. Okay, one example of a movie that has achieved cult video status, we're told, is Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange, made in 1971, four years before Rocky Horror. Kubrick's film, and I think it's one of his greatest, is a mind-bending journey into the ultra-violent near future, anticipating a punk revolution where violent kids run wild on the streets, and in this scene, in their own private clubs. Malcolm McDowell plays the music-loving leader of the pack. And it was like, for a moment, oh my brothers, some great bird had flown into the milk bar, and I felt all the malanky little hairs on my plot standing endwise, and the shivers crawling up like slow malanky lizards, and then down again, because I knew what she sang. It was a bit from the glorious ninth by Ludwig van. <laughs> What happens in this film is McDowell is captured by the police and treated with visual shock therapy, seeing a whole bunch of violent images, sort of like what we go through, Roger, when we see the Friday the 13th series. And the result is a pacified, dehumanized Malcolm McDowell. Now, is this what we want as a society? Is this the future we're going to get, whether we want it or not? A Clockwork Orange deals with those individual versus society issues, and it does so with unforgettable images. In fact, and I think this is key, there's some of the same punk images that we see today. You know, I looked at the film again on video only last night, and yep. one of the most amazing things to me was the opening sequence where oh, Malcolm yes. McDowell and his friends are running wild through the city with their clubs, beating up on people and things, and I was reminded of the opening shots of Sid and Nancy, the right. punk rock movie that came out this year in which the Sex Pistols, uh, Sid Vicious, is doing exactly right. the same thing. Another thing I felt last night, you know, when this movie came out, I had a lot of reservations about it. I know they were you did. Based upon the fact that I felt it had all head and no heart. And I still feel that way about the film, that this is a cerebral exercise, not an emotional exercise. But the sad thing is, in the last 15 years, violence in our society has become so pervasive, so much more so even than in 1971, that by now, I was able, in looking at the film, or maybe because I'm older, I was able to share some of... Kubrick's own detachment yes. more than the first time I this saw is, it. This is a visionary film. It can be viewed as simply a cool thing, a punk thing, mm -hmm. but I think that the power of this film for adults to rent mm -hmm. is that it is visionary and as current as it was in 1971. And of course, nobody ever questioned Kubrick's filmmaking. He's a great director. When we come back, violence. I think our standards have totally degenerated now at the end of this show. Our brains have been fried by cult movies just like everybody else. As we said earlier, that Rocky Horror is still not available on video because it's still doing business at the box office. My prediction is that Little Shop of Horrors will replace Rocky Horror at the midnight theatrical box office. Rocky Horror will then come out on video and it will inspire the most bizarre pajama parties in history. We're both in our low 40s, mm -hmm. and yet I feel as you, I, like we're 14 or 15 years yeah. old because that's what this stuff is. I mean, this is elemental movie going, which is no holds barred, mm -hmm. fun entertainment, off the wall, a place you've never been before, avant-garde, dangerous, your mm -hmm. parents wouldn't want you to see it, all of that stuff wrapped up and that's what these And then when are. you bring it home on video, what happens is, I think, ma mainly with these cult films, we were talking about how, what is it like to see the movie by yourself? But yeah. In many cases, they're not seeing it by themselves. This is, this, I mentioned Party pajama films. parties. Yeah. This is the next generation I think so of pajama parties where the kids bringing the films home and reciting the lines right along with the old TV set. That's it for the special survey of the new generation of video cult movies. Next week, we'll be back with reviews of four new films. And until then, the balcony is closed.